There are more bicycles in Holland than there are citizens. Many different lifestyles are possible in Holland, and you can live in many different places. It depends mostly on what you can afford. Dutch people spend more than half their time in and around their homes. They prefer to see their friends, acquaintances and family at home. So a lot of life takes place indoors, which is why a good place to live is very important. You can buy a house, but there are also many houses and apartments to rent. This accommodation is for people with low incomes. This is called sociale woningbouw and means council or public housing. Sociale woningbouw is often housing which has been quickly constructed, but which often develops defects quickly too. If you have a low income, or if your family or partner lives in one of these housing estates, there is a good chance that you too will come to live in one. In the past, a lot of foreigners, Turkish people, Moroccans and their families, came to live here precisely because the housing was cheaper. A lot of Dutch people moved away because they were able to pay for better housing in another part of the city. There are a lot of problems in the old parts of the city. People often don't understand each other because they have different cultures or because they speak different languages. A lot of people who have to live on low incomes live in these areas. Dutch people and foreigners. There's a lot of unemployment. There are drug-related problems, noise problems, and sometimes there are fights. Nowadays, a lot of the inhabitants of the Randstad come from abroad, such as the Akin family, who originally came from Turkey. A total of six people live in this small flat, which will soon be pulled down. The children can't play outside. There are leaks which they have to mend themselves. Life is different from how Akin had imagined it would be. If someone from abroad was planning to come here, I would tell them, think hard about what you're doing, what you're letting yourself in for. If I were 30 or 25, I wouldn't leave my country and come here. I'd stay in my own country, really. But not everyone thinks like this. Irene really feels at home where she lives. Yes, I've been living here for 19 years. I like it here, really. My daughter was born here, the youngest, and as far as she's concerned, we're not allowed to move again. But I like it here, too. There are lots of different cultures here, so we all learn from one another, and we each have our own worth. There are not only people from different cultures living alongside each other, but also with each other, like Henk and Nelsie Bloch. Do you like living here? Yes, but it does get difficult for me when I have to go out in the cold when the winter comes. That's hard for me because I don't like the cold. Do you stay indoors a lot then? No, no. 
Wherever you live, it's important that you feel at home. That doesn't have to be in the city. It might also be in a village. Mr. and Mrs. Belmadani, you came here 23 years ago as the first family of foreigners in Enspike. What was that like? It was a good time. I was uh, very well received and uh, I got a house here through my work and some of my colleagues lived here too. And um, well, I was made to feel welcome. And Dunja, how was it for you to grow up between two cultures? It's nice. You learn a lot more because if you live in the city, you usually come across lots of people from your own country anyway. You find each other. But here, where I grew up, it was more with Dutch kids, and I grew up with the Dutch culture. Do you feel more Dutch or more Moroccan? Uh, both? Both, yes. When you go to Holland, there are all sorts of places you might end up. But wherever it is, you'll come across different living and housing conditions from what you were used to. You'll come to the Netherlands, a different culture. How are you going to deal with that? What I think is very important, uh, at the moment you decide to move, and that it's going to happen to, that you're actually going to move, to emigrate, that you do it internally too, that you, as it were, emigrate internally, that you almost literally move from one culture to the other culture. Dare to make that move, so you can relax and don't have to be afraid because your own culture has been taken away. People who have just arrived in the Netherlands should trust different cultures too. All cultures are made up of people, cultures who also assume basic things like not stealing, not killing, not lying, and that children should be brought up as well as possible. It's amazing to see how many similarities we have, and actually how few differences. And having respect for each other, right? We should respect each other. If you have respect for yourself deep within, then every time you see another person you should think, there's another person, there's someone else who loves. Four hundred years ago, Nederland was not yet an independent state. It heette toen de Nederlanden. It used to be called de Nederlanden. It used to be a patchwork of small independent states and regions. It was a Christian country, with two groups of followers, the Protestants and the Catholics. They both believe in the same God, but in different ways. The country was governed by the King of Spain, a very pious Catholic. He had Protestants tortured and killed. This man rebelled, Prince William of Orange. He is the forefather of the present Dutch royal family. Willem van Oranje thought that the Protestants and Catholics should each be allowed their own religion. War broke out between the Netherlands and Spain, a war that would last for 80 years. William of Orange was shot.